good afternoon everyone my name is ankit kumar i have around uh, 10 years of experience into it industry and i have been working with uh, robotic process automation for the past 4 years so i've been working with automation anywhere ui path both the tools i am expertized into and also i am into this uh, training for the past 3 uh, years or more i would say so this is all about me and i welcome you all on behalf of edureka which is on build your own bot robot in action using ui path so this is what the agenda is what is rpa rpa tools introduction to ui path studio installation what are the different types of projects we have in ui path different components right so these are the agenda for today's session okay so robotic process automation process automation so let's break this into three different words robotic process and automation so what is an automation generally automation is something which can be done without human intervention so if some work you would like to complete without a human intervention say might be with some kind of machines you are trying to accomplish a particular task that is your automation right so without human efforts if at all you want to complete something that is said to be an automation then what is a process see process is a step by step activity that you follow to accomplish a task as simple as that right the best example for that is making a tea or a coffee making a tea or a coffee involves some series of steps that need to be followed right so first you have to take a bowl lid the straw in that bowl you have to add some tea powder sugar boil it for some time and the end product will be your tea right so what if if you are not following this process you have lit the straw but without putting the bowl if you pour milk on the straw what happens your end product will not be a tea so the process is the one which you follow step by step and activities the activities that you do step by step which leads to a meaningful activity or sorry the meaningful product is said to be a process okay so now we know automation and what is a process so that means if i combine these two step by step activity which leads to a meaningful end product a step by step activity that activity you are not doing it we are automating that activity okay don't assume like you know making a tea is only the activity okay there are so many process okay so when you are uh, in the it industry right if you are uh, part of it industry so so many activities that you do on daily basis as part of your daily work you do a lot of work so those are all the process that you do in your organization on daily basis right so these are processes and the process which you are doing we are automating that right it doesn't require any human intervention no human efforts then who will do it so the one who does the action the one who does the work is a robot is a robot and guys robot is not something any machine or hydraulic machines you know that do work for you no robot in rpa is a software listen to this carefully a robot in rpa world is a software why do we need a software why it is software why it is a software and why it is not something that we saw in a movie rajinikanth's movie robot a physical hydraulic machine why it is not that robot and why it is a software because guys we work in a software industry right where do we work we work in it industry software industry on what computers right computers laptops if you just keep your hardware aside on a computer on what your computer runs your computer runs on a software that is operating system microsoft windows is a software on top of that operating system you install the software that you like and you work on that right if at all you are working on some banking project in some banking project if you are working you install that banking related application right if not you your company will install that banking related application on your computer on your windows operating system and you do work on that so since in it industry in a software industry we work on software we work on a software platform the work that we are doing the step by step activities that we are doing on a particular software we have to automate that right so we need another software to do the automation so that is the reason why your robot is a software so now putting all together robotic process automation is robot is a use of software which does 
step by step activities which mimics your step by step activities whatever human is doing it mimics human action and it completes that without your involvement that is said to be rpa okay so if at all you want to you know see robots i just told you right entities or a software which mimics human action is called a robot which has the capability of mimicking human action is a robot and the process a sequence of steps right so we have just discussed a sequence of steps that lead to a meaningful activity are known to be a process and automation without human intervention any process done by a robot without human intervention is said to be automated right and if you put all this together so mimicking human actions to perform a sequence of steps that lead to a meaningful activity without any human intervention is said to be robotic process automation guys so in simple words simple layman terms whatever the work that you do in a software industry on your job daily basis right opening your email reading some emails downloading the attachment opening some browser whatever the input that you have on your excel loading that particular data onto your website saving that data pulling the report or capturing the response of the action that you have done updating that back to the excel and sending this report to your manager this is your daily task and the same task now if robot does it without needing you is said to be a robotic process automation and guys don't think that okay every work can be done by rpa that robot you know see this sequential steps only it can do if it requires some human intelligence in between that is human brain is required to complete your task it cannot perform that task it cannot perform best that task so it should be a sequential manner so that is said to be a robotic process automation now rpa robotic process automation is a technology it is not a software by itself rpa is a technology so what does that mean if i say testing right testing is a methodology right so which tells us how to do testing likewise rpa is also kind of principles which tells which gives you the set of instructions on if a particular software has to be an rpa software what its capabilities are or what its capabilities should be is said to be an rpa tool okay so here based on those technology rpa technology or set of guidelines or principles whatever you call few tools are introduced in the market those are the actual softwares these rpa tools are the actual softwares and these are the tools that you have in the market right now or maybe more right so work fusion another monday cofax nice you know automation edge and works automation anywhere ui path pega crayon okay these many oh yeah blue prism i forgot okay so these many rpa tools that we have in the market right now but what are the best among all these these are the best and leading rpa tools in the market automation anywhere ui path and blue prism these are ruling the current rpa market why because you know when compared to the capabilities of these three tools others are not yet reached there but these are the most tight competitors even like if i if i want to compare these three right automation anywhere and ui path are the closest competitors in the market and what is ui path now so you know ui path is one of the tool of rpa and it is actually a software right it is the actual software that helps us to automate your activities and about ui path this is what the analysis say okay about robotic process automation see automation anywhere and ui path are the two tight competitors i told you right so here they are so these are the two tight competitors and when you just compare this forester wave now okay the ui path is bit higher than automation anywhere now it's it's you know uh, it's bit leading than automation anywhere. but when you see the leaders quadrant so all these softwares are in the leaders quadrant ui path automation anywhere blue prism and edge were these are in the leading quadrant and this is all about who said this deloitte says ui path is one of the fastest growing company in north america okay so that is the comments made by ui path 
sorry the light and your path software is being used by this big genes so these are big players in the market right companies airbus nasa autodesk dhl hp qg films okay so these big companies use ua path to automate their business process right so as of now we know that ua path is a software okay your path is an rpa software which helps us to automate your daily activities or step by step activities process whatever you call right it is a software a software always has to be installed on your machine and how to install your ua path software so that is what we are going to discuss now it's not complex thing okay it's easy it's not at all a complex okay i'll just tell you how to do that but before that you have to know what are the prerequisites okay so these are the prerequisite you should have at least 8 gb of ram okay i would say 4 also would work but you know you will have some speed issues that's it but 4 gb also works recommendation is 8 gb and you should have windows 7 or higher versions okay you need to have dotnet framework installed on your computer and you need to have the browsers that are supported by ui path automation like you know microsoft um, edge internet explorer google chrome mozilla firefox etc so these are the supported browser so you need to have these three websites before even installing your software so what you have first you can go to cloud.uipath.com the first step is you have to go to cloud.uipath.com there you have to sign up okay so you have to sign up see uh, you can either continue with google or whatever the account you have you can simply continue with that okay uh, if you have already logged in and that is pretty much we always have it so continue with google okay because i have logged into gmail this particular browser so i'm just selecting that you can select any of your email id because email id is required for sign up topic so when you sign up right so when you sign up you will this particular page which is automation cloud ui path automation cloud so when you are here you will check your profile on the top right okay you can check your profile on the top right so when you sign up with an email right whatever the email that you sign up with so with that your account will be created so this is edureka@training@gmail.com so with this an account has been created so when you continue with google so once that is done you will land up in this page and in the home so right now i am into the home page among different pages that i have here orchestrator actions apps etc i am in the home page in the home page you will have an option to download your path studio download your path studio just click on that so when you click on that you will start downloading a software i'll just cancel it or pause it because i already have it see here around 866 mb you have it here 866 mb of software you have it here it will get downloaded okay it will get downloaded so once the download is complete once the download is completed you can go to your downloads and search for the software that got installed okay so here here i am so i am on the downloads and you can see here a ua path studio community so like this a software will get downloaded on your machine so this is around 863 mb so like this a particular software will get downloaded on your machine what you have to do you just have to double click on that you just have to double click on this downloaded software okay so you just have to double click on that downloaded software so once that is done okay so we are here until okay so what it says go to official website we have gone to the official website that is automation cloud so then fill in your details or you can continue with your google that we have looked into okay so these are the old process guys open your email and all because uh, uh, it said it has been changed so you have to go and click on that download your path studio from automation cloud so once that is downloaded you have to double click on the download software set up will initialize that's it you just have to double click on it nothing you will get it you just have to wait you just have to wait that's it and finally you have to enter your email id that you have signed up with 
so once that you enter in that page your ua pass studio will get installed no big complexity i'll explain you the steps one more time you have to go to cloud.uipath.com sign up with your email account whatever the email account is sign up with that go to home and click on download ua path studio okay so once that is done double click on your downloaded software which will eventually install ua path studio on your machine and just before installation is done it will ask you for the email id for activation so you have to give your email id okay for activation just give that and finally you will get two options ua path studio pro and ua path studio x so just select ua path studio pro so once you are done with that you see this page you will see this home page welcome page of your path so to confirm whether your path is installed or not you can just go to your programs and you can find your path folder under which you have your path assistant your path diagnostic tool and your path studio the studio is the place where we do the actual automation guys studio is the place where we do the automation we create automation script in the studio and this is how it looks like this is how it looks like so we are at the start tab so we have multiple tabs here so we are on the start tab so you can either open an existing project by clicking on this open a local project or you can clone it from your repositories git tfs or sn svn okay so this is how you can open your existing project so these are the recently opened projects so whatever the recent project that you have opened you will get see here and using these things using these things you can create a new project so this is to open an existing one this is a recently opened projects and this using these many options you can create a new project so these are the options that you have under start you can open an existing project by clicking on this open also when you click on this open you will get a pop-up window from where you can select the project both are the same this one and this one okay so when you click on tools pretty right we need to have a supported browser browser also if at all you want to do any browser automation and all you have to download some extensions to work with if you are if at all you want to work with google chrome you want to automate something in google chrome then you need to have a chrome extension installed on your computer and how you can do that you just click on this chrome and it will install the extension it will install the extensions likewise you can install the extensions for edge firefox java based applications citrix and excel add-in so sap much more so you have that under tools next is the team if at all your company is maintaining any repository those repository information you will find it here like git svn tfs so these are the delivered repositories that you have with uipath and the settings if at all you have any settings like you know uh, you know theme that you want to use light dark okay you know change the language to anything you can just do it so design how the design sh should look like so you can just change that here okay locations where your project has to get saved so project and save all those things okay you can check that here and when you come to help so here you will find the product documentation about ua path okay community forum which is helpful if you have any issues okay so academy release notes and the version that you are currently using you can see that on the right top okay so you are using community license and the studio version is 2021.10.5 so this is your current version so this is how you can see the welcome page when you go here to the start right so you are at the start how to create a new project the new project you can create by using these options process the first option is process by process you can create a complete new automation with blank project you will have nothing there it is 
a blank white project you have to do everything from the scratch that is your process library if at all you are trying to create any reusable component if a bot that you are creating you feel that it is reused in many other places then you can create it as a library next is test automation used for testing template what is a template template is it will not be a blank thing you will have some predefined activities that will help us to ease the automation so such kind of templates are this robotic enterprise framework background process mobile testing project orchestrator process transactional process and together based attended automation so what are these are templates where you will have few activities or the work is already done there commonly used work is already done there you need not to do that again so whereas the process will give you the complete blank page okay so that is your template and process and the mostly used template in your path is this one a robotic enterprise framework this is a widely used framework and when you go to interview right out of 10 questions if they ask you four questions minimum four questions will be on robotic enterprise framework template so we call it as a robotic enterprise framework or re framework okay this is one of the important framework or template right now let me click on this process and show you what it gives once we enter the details so i'm clicking on a project sorry process it's a new blank process I told you right it's completely blank so you will not have anything so what i'll do here webinar 07 i'm just creating the name so this is my project name and the location that you where you want to save your project you can browse to change your location if at all you want you can do that okay so i will just save in this location and you can give the description for your project so what i will give so this is a demo on ui path studio that's it i'm giving this, this is a demo on ui path studio and the language vb script or c sharp okay whatever the language you are comfortable with you can choose that and you can just click on create so when you click on create a blank project will be created for you so what it does see it is creating a process right now because we have selected a process so it is creating a process right now restoring dependencies every project is designed based on something called activities guys remember activities i'll show you that once again activities are the building blocks of your automation and those activities you will have in the okay, and that is what it is restoring and you see here workspace a space where you can design your automation it is creating your workspace see here it is adding the dependencies what it has restored it is adding the dependencies i told you right dependencies is where you will have the activities you used to design your automation right you see now you have landed on page it says UAPath Studio Community Edition. We'll see one by one option. Okay, outline options here. So you have three different tabs here: Home on the top, next is Design, and the other one is Debug. So these are the three options that you have on the top left. Okay, so let me just clear the. Okay, so Home, Design, and Debug. So when you click on Home, it will take you to the page from where we have just come in, the welcome page. Right, I'll just go back. So next one is the design. So using design, you can do some work for the automation. You can create a new file. So under new file, you have these many options: sequence, flowchart, state machine, global handler, and workflow. You can create these things, and you can save your project. So when you are done with your automation, you can just save using the save button. You can export as a template. I told you right, we have many templates. Right, so RE framework is one of such template. So if at all you are you have created a template, you can export it as a template. And to run your project, you can use this options: run a single file, run the entire project, or debug your file. If at all you want to debug, 
next you can cut copy paste undo redo manage packages dependencies all those things you can do it here so we have a lot many options so these many options you can use it here next is the debug tab if at all you feel uh, your code is giving some issues it is not giving the appropriate result that you are looking for you can check your code you can analyze your code more better as a doctor using this debug you can use the debug options you know step into step over step out retry ignore restart so all the options that you're seeing here all the options that you are seeing here without a miss will cover in the full session so as this is a webinar session we cannot cover all those things because it will debug itself takes around one and a half to two hours to explain each and every concept under debug okay so we'll cover each and every concept that you have here in the design in the full session of your app okay so debug is used to debug your code to check where the problem is right so and you see on the left hand side you have project Go on this project folder so this is what you have created right webinar 0703 2022 is the project that you have created this is the project name and you see there's a lot of things are added here why creating the process it said adding dependencies right so these are the dependencies what are those dependencies excel activities mail activities system activities and ui automation activities so it has added these many dependencies what are activities activities i just told you right so those are the building blocks for your automation a smallest unit that helps us to design your automation so by default it has added excel related activities mail related activities system related activity sign ui automation related activities that means by default when a project is created you can simply do the excel automation automation system automation system related activities and browser related automation ui automation not only browser desktop based activities also you can see but where those are i'm not seeing those where those are okay where those are you have something called mail.xml every project file in your path is stored with an extension .xml or .xaml and the project that you create will be in a workflow and every workflow is saved with .xml extension okay you have to double click on it which will open your blank editor so there is where you will see the blank editor now you see blank editor and what it says drop activity here drop an activity here if at all you want to automation drop the activity here that's what it says so where are activities now you see activities these are the activities okay so i'll just uh, close this see these many activities are already added when i just click on this app integration see csv excel and mail when i click on excel see these many activities related to excel to do activities with excel so these many activities so where did they come from they come from the dependencies because by default ui path has added excel mail system and ui automation activities so all those four dependencies contains these many activities that you are seeing on the screen see system related uh, activities are this your automation related activities are this these are added now it says drop activity here so what should i do it why it says drop because your path automation is done using drag and drop methodology you need not to write or type the code using your keystrokes or using your keyboard you just have to drag and drop you need not to code anything you just have to drag and drop so these are all the available activities what are the recent activities that you have used are these and what are your favorites you can design your own favorite i'll just design a simple automation to greet you i welcome message i'll just drag and drop this message box see i'm just clicking on it and dragging on to my white workspace just to have released it see it has automatically generated something what is this this is a message box activity this is the message box activity what this message box done 
does whatever you write inside this text okay now what it says text must be quoted okay so now i'll just click on that white space i'll open that quotes and i'll say hello all welcome to the webinar that's it and i have saved it i just clicked on, okay i'll just save it i have dragged and dropped this and i have written the content that it has to show on the screen what is the use of message box message box will just show a message on the screen during the execution so i have dragged and dropped the message box and i have configured the message that it has to show that is this one hello all welcome to the webinar once that is done i'll just click on save my project is saved then what i have to do i have to run my file right i have to run my automation so how to run the automation go to the debug either you can run the entire project you can run in the debug mode or you can run this single file i'm just running this simple single file i've just clicked on it see your uipa studio has minimized see it is coming up see here now message box the execution has displayed the message box whatever we have written inside it hello all welcome to the webinar so when i click on okay the project execution will stop and you are in the studio now so likewise you can use the activities you can use the activities to work with your automation now this simple message box right suppose you would like to open some browser okay you are you are trying to open some browser what is that suppose i have some browser url here yeah so this is the browser you would like to open with your automation your path automation so what you have to do just copy this url okay just copy this url i'm just closing this one now i have that browser opened on my computer to open a browser what i'll do so what is the browser automation it's a user interface ui automation right i'll just go to the ui automation so here is where you have your automation just click on this when you just click on this you have browser see you have browser related activities just click on this browser so what you would like to do you would like to open a browser right see here you have open browser now just drag and drop that open browser here see it has designed some graphical thing for you open browser what it says insert url here text must be quoted so whatever the browser you would like to open give that url here must be quoted so i have opened the double clicks and this is my url double quotes and this is my url i'll just save this so do i have that no i don't have that browser i'll simply run this now run this file so your ua path will open a particular browser for you so you are not opening that browser manually now it will open that browser for you automatically okay so it is it has opened here so it is opening here you see financial benchmark yeah so where it has opened it has opened in microsoft edge so this is your microsoft edge i don't want to open that in microsoft edge i want to open that in chrome so where do you control that so when you click on any activity you will get its properties on the right hand side you will get its properties so now this open browser see here uipath.co.activities.open browser and here are its properties so these are the properties so in that you will have something called browser type browser type so when you just click on that you will find multiple things so by default it will open in ie or edge i'll just click on chrome now i have selected chrome i'll save this now and rerun the same automation this time it has to open in chrome not the edge where is it yeah see it has opened in the chrome so how do you confirm that it is a chrome i'll just go to this three dots okay more tools uh, not this one. settings uh, nothing i can just see it here right help yeah about google chrome so this is your chrome now you are you are your browser has opened in the google chrome. so likewise you can 
make use of these activities to design your automation so once you have opened your browser whatever you want to do you can do with this browser suppose this is a browser now you would like to click on this register button for an example on the top right you have you can just click on that using automation and you have multiple fields here to enter if at all you want to type something here you can just type it here after giving all the information you can click on this register button to register so likewise you can work with your browsers so how to do all those things is what we'll cover in our full session so we'll learn all these activities we'll learn all these activities you can search for activity using the search bar if you don't know where exactly that uh, you know activity exists like here in ui automation browser attached browser okay so here you have open browser if you don't know the path you can come here search you can say open browser that's it you will get it directly you can just drag and drop wherever you want like this so this is how your ui path works guys this is how your ui path works this is your entire ui user interface and as i told you so we have many activities here we have i think more than 400 activities here we'll learn about those activities in our full session all right uh, so this ends up we'll meet up i hope you to see all in the complete session of your path so we'll meet there until that have a great time ahead thank you so much